Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to the video. Uh, before I start anything, I'm going to go ahead. Before I start talking and stuff about stuff. First thing I'm going to do first is claim our free gift. It is a Cataclysm to WrestleMania card. Uh, we'll see what we get. I'll probably get a cat. And uh, we got a Jey Uso. Uh, not bad. It's a single, so I'll take it. Uh, but... I'm making this video because, you know, let's talk. So a lot of shit has went down. If you guys have not been following on Twitter and stuff like that, a lot of accounts have been locked out. You know, there's, I guess there's been temporary bans, bans, whatever you want to call it, have been placed on a lot of the community. Now, no one has a straight answer as to what caused it, whether it be the gallows. I know people who did the gallows. They were not banned. So, I don't know if it were, you know, from third-party credits. No one knows if it's from PvP. Nobody knows exactly what causes from, you know, count sharing and whatnot. There was no direct answer to what. All we know is it has something to do with the fair play policy, which every one of those things go under. So, you don't know which rules are broken, whatnot. So, yeah. Yesterday was the first big ass wave of bands. Uh, you know, I guess some people, you know, maybe deserve them. Some people did not deserve them. You know, we don't know what people do behind the scenes at all. We, we don't, we can't judge. All we know is we could just take their word or whatnot. So, but let's just talk about this. Is, is Cat Daddy finally going to take these types of bands and stuff seriously? Was this just a warning shot to everyone who's done something wrong and whatnot? We don't know if this was just a warning shot, but I think Cat Daddy needs... I, I wish they watch this video and hear me out on stuff that we honestly need to talk about. So first things first, credit the credits and stuff. This game is not cheap at all. This game, without a doubt, in my opinion, is one of the most expensive games I've ever ever played in my life and it's coming from a mobile game of all things not even uh mmorpg from pc and stuff like that where i spent probably about 70 dollars a month on that stuff and i benefited for an entire month of doing those things this is a mobile freaking card game now it's from season one to season five the game has dramatically changed and how free players can uh, progress and how free players now cannot progress. It's changed so, so much. And I'm not even kidding you. It's changed a lot. And I mean a lot. Now, let's just first talk about stuff that we could all agree. The prices in WWE Supercard are outrageous. That is 100% a fact you spend in 30 to 40 dollars depending on it if, if this is on sale if this isn't on sale this is about a 40 dollar pack you spend in 35 40 dollars and not getting something to guarantee to help you is outrageous as shit and i mean outrageous this game you need to get something that will help you fifa uh, it's skill based you know if you compare it to other games out there everything is skill based if you didn't get something good you probably got something that could help you eventually or could help you but no matter what those are skill based games you rely on your skills to get there in Fortnite you buy skins to them but remember everything is skill based this is progression alright and when you don't get something you need your progression gets stuck and you can't go forward. And that it seems to be a lot with a lot of mobile cards. WWE champions and all that stuff. I don't know what it is with the mobile industry. The mobile industry is just way, just really bad right now when it comes to microtransactions. I think mobile is one of the worst right now compared to PS4, Xbox, PC. Mobile is the worst. But do you want to know why it's the worst? Because it is the most device we're on all the time. Shocker. So it's really unfortunate. The price is... For this game compared 
to my NBA. Like I'm about to show you guys an example of how the prices in Supercard make no sense. So as you guys know, FIFA is actually EA's most favorite sport in the world if you guys don't play it. FIFA Ultimate Team is the biggest. They got Madden, they got NHL. But I can tell you right now, you don't even need FIFA points in, those, in, those, in Madden or NHL to progress. In FIFA, you need it 100%. But that is their most popular game. What is Scat Daddy's most popular game? Supercard. Not NBA. NHL is already gone, so they don't have to worry about NHL anymore. Supercard, which means they could jack up the prices that they choose to, which they currently have. So let's go into NBA. For example, I do play my NBA right now, uh, 2K20. And I'm going to show you the difference between everything. Because it makes no sense. Sure, it's not as a popular game compared to Supercard. But it should still be treated almost equally the same. It makes no sense. So let's go into the shop, for example. This is their shop. Sure, it's not as big as Supercards because this is a brand new game that just came out. Not even a week ago. Supercard has that stuff, but you know, they, they have so many tiers prior, prior, they don't restart the game ever. So that's, that's the reason. But look, this is the pack most people are going to buy in my NBA. 2,000 credits. You get an elite, uh, uh, epic to elite card, which is the three top tiers of the game. It's elite, epic prime. Well, no, wait, it's epic, elite, epic prime, and uh, epic. So, Epic, Epic Prime, Elite. And look, you got two chances of getting the top card. And then you got one low chance of getting Epic Prime. And it only costs you 2,000 credits. Now, take Supercard. 5.5 is their cheapest pack. 5.5. Three of these packs, you get six chances at a top card. Supercard, you get one. It's outrageous comparing how they're totally different. It's crazy. And then even their cheaper packs are amazing. Look, you get three players in this pack. And you, you get some decent odds out of that for like half the cost. The like, I'm, like I said right here, right now, it makes absolutely no sense of the, of the prices and stuff like that. It makes absolutely... No sense why Supercar is way more, two to three times more expensive than everything. It makes no sense. Now let's get into other things that tick me off. Uh, so that's the credit part. If you guys just made credits, you know, cheaper, everything that's supposed to be cheaper and reliable, this game would not have any freaking problems. People would not have to go out and spending little more money to get more credits because if they don't then they're gonna get screwed we work hard for our money we really do and cat daddy really needs to understand you know some people only get paid 725 an hour still in some fucking states of this world 725 an hour you expect someone to work two days of eight hour shifts and they get absolutely nothing from it hell no we work hard for our money cat daddy needs to die. another thing is heroic mode needs to die it needs to die. When this mode was implemented, it only it only benefited people who could spend money. Clearly, if you do this, you can't do a regular road to glory for free. Sometimes some people struggle with time and stuff like that. Unless you have no life, you you can't just do it for free. And you got to have a top deck to do it for free as well. You can't do that. Supercard is outrageous. Heroic heroic needs to die. It just needs to die. Get rid of it. Make it more balanced for free players as well. Because they can't do anything. You can't just screw free players over. Season 1, we didn't have this problem. This was not a problem in Season 1. Honestly, it wasn't even a problem in Season 2. Because you could do PCC for free. You know, you had to spend more days of your life. But at least you could get something out of it. It makes no sense. Supercard practices are really, really bad, and they really need to go back and adjust and just change things up if these bans are going to be super, super serious now that they're taking effect. Again, also, I'll tell you right now, about 90% of us is guilty of doing something we weren't supposed to do against the terminal services. I'll be totally honest with you. Have I done something wrong? Yes. Debug menu? We've all did it. I guarantee you, 90% of the community did the debug menu. That was an exploit that we all abused. Got cards from it. Got champions out of it. 
We should all be banned then, right? But no, we're not. Maybe because if they banned 90% of the players, we'd all be banned. <laughs> but again, we've all broken we've all broken a TOS before. Let's be real. People who play their people who play other accounts either be money in the bank, PvP, Road of Glories, events, no matter what, those people are breaking TOS as well. And I trust me, many people do that. Many people do that, whether it be because they don't have enough time, they're busy, blah, blah, blah. They all do it. We're all guilty of that. Well, not all of us, but people are guilty of that. And that is against the TOS. But, hey, I'm just saying. And I know people who did the gallows glitch. They weren't banned at all. So, obviously, I don't, I don't know what the bans were for. But this has become a very serious matter. So... Uh, honestly, I think Cat Daddy needs to go back to the drawing board. Season 6. Change things up. Because this is not the same game we were playing in Season 1 and Season 2. Free players get effed up. I'd rather not spend an effing dime on this game. I'd rather not. I don't want to put another dollar into this game right now at all. I'd rather spend days grinding then spend money. But they need money to survive. I get that. But make it reasonable. Make it reasonable. You don't need to suck the savings out of everyone to stay alive. Tell you that right now. All right. I just want to make this video for today. I did have other content, but with everything going on, I'm going to save that content for maybe Monday or something like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Share this video if you like. I don't care. Cat Daddy needs to understand this right here, right now. What they're doing is wrong, and uh, they have to they have to be justified. They gotta step it up. All right, Cat Daddy, Edward out.